How do you think you're gonna do? Better. All right, and away we go. So, a big crash for me right away. Last video, I kept crashing with the F1 car at the Nuremberg ring. It's crazy with... Whoa. The idea behind the video is fast car, long track, short car, sw slow car, short track. <laughs> Essentially, my goal is to drive faster than that little tiny, uh, like, death box can around a really, really medium-sized track. I am... That was, that was not worth emphasizing. It's going to be Laguna Seca, and we're going back to the Nuremberg ring. Nuremberg, Nuremberg ring. So the only catch is, I'm not obviously driving both cars. This is Kaya. She is my wife. <laughs> and hopefully, she'll drive slow enough that I can win. Because <laughs> that's the whole point of the challenge. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to win. Yeah. I'm going to win. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 like I was saying, she's driving the Fiat, I'm driving the F1 car. I'm going to have her set up on the sim rig. I won't be there for the lap. Effectively, it'll be like a ghost race. How do you think you're going to do? Better. Better than... You. Than me. No, honestly, I don't know. I'm not usually very good when I drive on these tracks. Well, I do better on the Fiat than with the F1, so we'll see. I'm sober this time, so that might help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No drunk driving. So we're going to get into Always. it. We're going to get the sim rig set up and we will meet back here. Let's watch Kaya, hopefully, for me, crash. Sorry. Rude. Not sorry. So here's how this is going to go. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have qualifying. Sorry, I just finished watching. It's Formula Miami. Sorry. We're going to do an outlap. We're going to see where each of us is at. And then we'll do the side by side. It's a little more fun that way because we get to focus on the warm-up lap because this is only two laps and technically the first one doesn't count just don't even focus on the times we'll get to that when we go into the side-by-side -side, and then we're really like it's race mode all right here we go all right so while kaya gets going here i'll just give you some context so we've raced before at laguna seca with the fiat <laughs> actually not with the fiat but we've raced the fiat and we've been to laguna seca so this outlap should be just kind of remembering the sim rig because we haven't really been on it a whole lot but with a more frequent upload schedule and a more ambitious outlook on YouTube we will for sure be spending more time at least I will so Kaya looks like she's just warming up the tires uh, she's coming out about the third turn or so coming up to the braking markers here let's see if she chucks it through this corner you can kind of cut it close to the left there she goes a little bit wide, it looks like. And if you do chuck it left there, you can get some speed going up this hill. I feel so slow. You're very slow. So the same thing here, coming up to the left, you can chuck it over this curb. And then go a little bit wide, and then you go on up the hill. So let's see how she does in the corkscrew. All right, so we're coming up to the corkscrew here. Let's see how we do. Do we thread the needle? That looks pretty solid going fairly far left, I guess. Or, yeah, that's what we're doing. And then we're going to keep some speed going. At least we should be trying to. Look at that beautiful sun. Hit another apex. And then coming up here is a really tight left hairpin. So you want to pay attention to your braking markers there. Let's see what we do. We're at 63, 60, blah, 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 blah. 50, 40. Oh, a little cooked. A little formula drift there. Got the rear wheels. That was fun. Look like it. So we're coming up to the finish line, and that's our outlap for Kaya. Yeah, let's install the car. All right, so it's the start of my outlap here. We have a lot of speed, uh, and it doesn't look that good because, you know. Oh, eh, oh. No, it wasn't. So, the Nuremberg ring, yeah, I, I Something tells me this is not going to be possible. We'll, we'll see how the outlap goes. <laughs> um, I'm not the best at the Nuremberg ring, obviously. So I've only been around it like maybe seven or eight times. Uh, the beginning, it, it's funny, like I have a mental map of this track. 
I, I don't really even look at the track. That's a slight lockup. Oh, and that's game over. That's all right. So obviously, I'm not having the best time. Uh, when we get back on the pace here, you'll you'll kind of just get a feel for the the ring and how it should feel. Uh, this is the outlap, and I'm hauling, but I'm not learning, which isn't the best thing. Obviously, it's a challenge, right? I want to win, so. I'm taking shortcuts. I, I guess we'll call them shortcuts. I, I think with the formula car, I struggle in turns because I can't grasp how fast I'm going. So I've looked down at the speed while I'm going around a track and I've been like, oh, that's a hundred miles an hour. I can't tell, uh, obviously, because it's a simulator or whatever, but the sense of speed is so lost. All right. Especially when you're in a car that you're not used to like I like GT3 and this is just for the fun of it And then if you're at a track that's 13 miles oh, long It gets a little hard to learn it quickly and like I said when it's only been seven times and there, there I am hitting the wall That's exactly what we want to see. It's fine though. We'll get it out of the way on the outlap. That's the <laughs> that's The best part about the outlap If you remember from the last video that was the turn that I just absolutely demolished I feel like there was another car that was a lot faster. So the car that I'm talking about is the uh, 919 Tribute that is actually fast. And I think there's an Assetto Corsa mod, but that was a little too much setup work for this video. So maybe we'll revisit it. We'll probably for sure revisit it. So for those of you that don't know as well, the Nürburgring, as you watch me hit the wall over and over, uh, it's so it's actually technically a public road. Turn off. Oh, yep. Okay. Yeah, distracted driving. That's what happens. And just like a public road, yeah, you can look away and hit a wall or something or someone if you're not paying attention, which you should be. But it's a public road, and it actually connects some sections. So, it, like on a normal day, you might see a van or just someone driving normally through here and that's I just find it hilarious yeah. so coming up underneath this little bridge here uh, we should start to see we what we called in the last episode focus hill because this is where you should focus um, there's a very there there's the wall there's a wall okay we've hit that before and then this is actually tighter than you think and we absolutely botch it but you know eh, whatever and that is the end of our outlap All right, and away we go. So, a big crash for me right away. Uh, this was the third lap. We both actually got three laps because I guess we like to cheat or something like that. I've already made it through a couple turns and Kai's coming up on her first. This is that double left apex thingy. A uh, little bit of a little of something there, um, but that's okay. I mean, good pace, no, no big accidents. Uh, and I don't actually crash here like my outlap, so we're still going, we're hauling. As is Kaya, frankly, it's a oh big. Uh, that's that's no that's no bueno. So <laughs> you got to correct for that. Lost time there. Uh, whereas if you look at Kaya, it's not, and there's no time lost. And there's an ambulance for me too, so I, I'm, I'll probably need it if I didn't already. Honestly, if we turned on full simulation mode, I this this would have been over a lot sooner. So we're both kind of onto a straight now. Let's just watch here what we do. Kai's into third gear, coming up to this braking zone here. How do we do with this curb, this apex? We stay a little bit away from it, but that's fine. I survived the corner I just came out of, which is crazy, because that one has not been fun before. Here's the long struggle for Kai. You can see her just cresting that little teeny bit of hill going under that bridge, as I am still hauling. Just, I don't even know where I'm at on track. We're a decent ways in, not obviously anywhere near as far as Kai has got gotten with her lap so far and she's coming up the hill let's see how she does with the corkscrew if she ever gets there
coming up to the corkscrew. How do we do? Do we thread the needle? We stay far left and then we go far right. And that's perfect execution. Looks great from her. And she's still falling. Uh, oh, oh. There's so much for the racing line and there's a wall, but that's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Because I don't even think I've made it no, to a single carousel to yet. So she's got this beautiful sunset look going on there. It's all foggy and depressing for me because I know I'm going to lose. And ooh, that's a little far right, a little far wide there, a little wide. But it's okay. We straightened up and we're still going. As well, I mean, look at Kaido. though. She's on her last corner. This is that tight hairpin. How do we do? Are we going to send it wide? Are we going to lose traction? Nope. Nice and solid. Good braking. As opposed to me, I just went way loose and wide. And... It looks like there's absolutely no hope for the fast car at the long track. It looks to me... Yep. All right. Yeah, that's that's it. <laughs> Slow car at a short track. Who'd have thought? Uh, Told you I'd win. Yeah, so I lost. But we learned something. Did we? Yeah. What did we learn? A slow car at a short track is going to be faster than a fast car at a long track. If you think about it, I had less room for error because my track was smaller. I don't think I would have beat you anyways. I, I guess I thought that you were going to be a lot slower than you were. I think I was going like 40 or 50 for the majority of it. Yeah. Miles per hour. I just thought the Fiat was so slow. How about you guys tell us what we should do next? I just said a long track and a long car. <laughs> That's fun. Long core. To car, core. Car, but long core. Leave in the comments any suggestions as to what we should do next. You learned something. I learned something. Hope you had a good time. I'm going to be a lot more consistent, so expect more stuff. We'll probably, for sure, be doing more racing. But beyond that, I do have some other stuff that isn't car related that I do want to share. Thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, please subscribe and leave a like and a comment and everything. If you want to watch another video from me, uh, because why not, then check out this video here where a high schooler destroyed my car. Whole pain in the ass. It was a really fun video. So go check that out. Check out my website, romraz.com, and I will see you in the next video. He was guarding us. That was rude.